Hi, uh, the question that we are going to uh, solve now is called one of the classic CAT question. Uh, this is uh, Edo's number question is from CAT 2006 paper. So let me briefly explain uh, about this question. Uh, a mathematician named Paul Erdos have co-authored uh, more than uh, 1500 papers. So most of the papers he have written along with other people, but he has published very less papers uh, by himself. So humorously, an Erdos number will be attached to these mathematicians. For example, uh, Paul Erdos himself has got an Eidos number of 0. So, suppose if a mathematician has written a paper, let us say his name is uh, A. He has written a paper along with Paul Eridos, he will be assigned a value of 1. If any other person who has written a paper with A, he will be given an Eridos number of 2. Uh, for example, if another person, let us say F will be there. So, F got uh, a, an Eidos number of 6 already. Probably has written already a paper with 5. So, he has got 6. Now, if A and F together have written a paper together, so F value changes to 2. Because this is already 1, this is the minimum. So, this number will change to 2. Uh, now, for example, if uh, uh, 2... F has written a paper along with Paul Eidos. Because Paul Eidos has got already Eidos number of 0, this person will change from 0 plus 1. That means 1. So, this person's value now is 1. So, usually the mathematicians get some Eidos numbers. Depends on uh, uh, with whom they are writing these papers. right? So, this is the brief background of uh, this question. So, let us uh, look at this question first. Uh, in this question, it is given that there are 8 mathematicians, A to H. So, in memory of Paul Eidos, they met these mathematicians to discuss uh, some mathematical problems. Uh, at the beginning of the conference, A was the only participant who had infinite Eidos number. So, let us write those uh, 8 people here. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Right. So, this is uh, uh, the representation of the 8 people and uh, A has infinite Eidos number at the starting of the conference and uh, nobody had an Eidos number less than that of f. So, f has got an Eidos number of x. So, this is the starting uh, of this question. Now, uh, let us look at the clues. On the third day of the conference, f co-authored a paper jointly with a and c. So, can you tell me uh, if f co-authored a paper jointly with a and c, what happens to these Eidos numbers? As I already explained, f has got the minimum Eidos number, it won't change. But this infinity will change to x plus 1, right? So, because he is directly connected with x, this is the least number. So, his number will change to x plus 1. Similarly, c value also changes to x plus 1. And it is given that uh, this reduces the average Eidos number of the group of 8 mathematicians to 3. So, average will be 3. So, there are total 8 people were there. So, 3 into 8, so the summation equal to 24. The sum of the Eidos numbers at the end of the uh, third day will be 24, right? And also given that the Eidos number of B, D, E, G and H remained unchanged. So, obviously, because uh, currently they haven't written any papers by themselves or with F, so their Eidos numbers won't change. And also, further, no other, no other co-authorship among any three members would have reduced the average Eidos number of the group of 8 to as low as 3. So, this is worth noting. So, what this statement is saying, no other co-authorship among any three people wouldn't have reduced the average to 3. So, 3 is the minimum that we will get because F is the minimum Eidos number. So, obviously, these two people must have had the Eidos numbers higher than any other people, right? Now, these two persons' uh, uh, Eidos numbers were changed to x plus 1. So, we will get the minimum Eidos number. Suppose, if these two people have written uh, a person's Eidos number which is x plus 2, probably we won't get an average of 3, right? Probably we may get average of 3.5 or something. So, what does it mean? This, this particular statement saying us, uh, a and C must be having a very high Eidos number because these two people are having co-authored with F. So, overall that number reduced to 3. So, we don't get anything less than 3, right? So, that is the meaning of the statement. Now, uh, 
At the end of the third day, five members of this group had identical Eddowes numbers. So this is a very very important statement. While the other three had Eddowes numbers distinct from each other. So this is a very very important statement. So there are five people who have identical Eddowes numbers and three people have distinct from each other. So what could be that identical number? So shall we have five x's here? That's not possible because it is given the state in the in the question that f has got the minimum Eddowes number. So x must be only unique. That's one. Is it possible to have uh, the remaining b, d, e, g, h uh, the same Eddowes number? The remaining five people might be, but the second part of the statement is saying that. Uh, the, while the other three had Eddowes numbers distinct from each other, that means x, x plus 1, this must be different. So because of the remaining three people, two people Eddowes numbers are equal. So the remaining five people Eddowes numbers may not be equal, right? So the only chance left with us is x plus 1 must be having by three, five people and the remaining three numbers are different from each other, right? That is what we have got. So we'll frame a small equation here. So five people have got x plus ones and one definitely x, right? The remaining two, let us say y and z. So we don't know y and z. See, of these remaining five people, three people are having x plus ones because we already got two people x plus ones. Three people are having x plus ones and the remaining two people having a reduced number of y and z. So the sum equal to 24. So just keep this equation like this. Let us go to the next statement. On the fifth day, he co-authored a paper with F, which reduced the group's average Eddowes number by 0 0.5. So he co-authored a paper with F. So then what happens? So E value also changes to x plus 1. So the remaining values won't change, right? We can copy as it is. So now what happens? The average Eddowes number uh, now reduced by 0 0.5. Then now it is 2.5. So 2.5 into 8, which is equal to 20, right? 20. Now the sum of all the values equal to 20. Now the only value, so now we can see here that all the remaining people address numbers unchanged. So the difference between this statement is 4. So 4 got reduced. That means uh, e must be having 4 greater than this number, right? Now it is x plus 1. So e must be having how much? x plus 1 plus 4, which is equal to x plus 5. So now you see the difference between these two is only 4 because that is the only change between these two equations, right? That means one of the people now change it to x plus 1, correct? So between y and z, one of the person, uh, they, his Eddowes number changed to x plus 1 now. Now we have 6x six plus 1s, 6x six plus 1s and 1x, one 1x, one, one of these y and z. So probably e might be either y or z, we don't know. Uh, let us say e is y, okay? Now z is equal to how much now? The total Eddowes number equal to 20. Now from this we can have uh, 6x plus 6 plus x plus z equal to 20. Now 7x plus z equal to 14. So we got a bivariate equations where x and z are integers. So what values we can give for x and z here? Because this is a 7 multiple, this is a 7 multiple, right? Definitely z should be a 7 multiple. If you put z is equal to 0, then x will become 2. But only Paul, Paul Eddowes himself has got Eddowes number of 0. So z must not be 0. That's ruled out. If z is equal to 7, then what happens? If z is equal to 7, x equal to 1, correct? So 7 goes to the other side, 7x equal to 7, therefore x equal to 1. So this is a possibility. If z is equal to 14, then again x will become 0. That's not possible. So, x equal to 1 and z equal to 7 are our options. So, that means now let us write these Eddowes numbers now. Uh, so, x equal to 1, right? x equal to 1. This is equal to 2, 2, 2, right? Uh, the remaining numbers, remaining numbers. So, we know that at the end of the fifth day, now 6 people have got the similar Eddowes numbers, right? So that means let us put this one also 2, this one also 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this one also 2, right? There are total 6 people, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 people have similar Eddowes numbers and F has got the minimum Eddowes number. And what about H? Uh, H value should be 7. So this 7 might be H or any other person. He might be G also, he might be D also, he might be B also, we don't know. But 
these are all the edos numbers at the end of the fifth day. So at the end of the third day, so this is x plus 1, right? x equal to 1 means e must be having an edos number of 6. So after he has written a paper with f, his number changed to 2. So initially his value is 6. So this is the solution for this question. Now let us look at uh, the questions one by one, right? How many participants in the conference didn't change their edos number during the conference? Very easy question. Uh, only three persons have written a paper with F. So those three people edos numbers have changed. So the remaining five people edos numbers haven't changed. So answer option is four, right? Option four. Option four contains five. So we'll go for answer option four. The person having the largest edos number at the end of the conference must have had edos number. So at the end of the conference, so the largest edos number is seven. So who has got this edos number? We don't know. That might be G or H or D or B, we don't know. So, but the largest number should be 7. How many participants had the same Edo's number at the beginning of the conference? So, now you see, initially, uh, after A and C have written this paper along with F, their numbers changed to X plus 1 and X plus 1, right? Then we have got 5 people have same Edo's number at the end of the third day. But initially, these two people might be having different Edo's numbers, right? So in that case, only three people have got the similar Edo's number at the beginning of the conference. At the end of the third day, five people have got because these two people have written a paper with F. So their numbers change to X plus 1 and X plus 1. So initially, only three people have got the same Edo's number. So therefore, for this question, we'll go for answer option 2. And the Edo's number of C at the end of the conference was... So that is very easy. C has co-authored a paper with F. His number changed to X plus 1. We know that X equal to 1. Therefore, his Edo's number will be 2 at the end of the conference. The Edo's number of E at the beginning of the conference. So at the beginning of the conference, E's value equal to X plus 5. So when you substitute X equal to 1, his value is 6. So E's Edo's number at the beginning of the conference is 6. So we'll go for answer option 3.